Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ashland High School as we have Hopkinton Hillers baseball on the road as they take on the Ashland Clockers. Hopkinton five and nine on the season. Ashland is seven and eight. Both teams still technically have a chance for a playoff spot. It is a huge game here today especially for the Ashland Clockers who are really fighting to get that postseason spot as we are just about ready to have the first hitter come to the plate on this beautiful afternoon at Ashland High School. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers lineup. They are going to start things off with Kyle Halloran, the second baseman in their road camouflage jerseys. Jack Vaccari will bat second and play third base. Matt Decina will bat third and play shortstop as Luke Gustafson set to deliver the first pitch to Kyle Halloran. We'll continue the lineup in just a moment. The windup and the pitch is in there for a strike. Batting fourth for the Hillers, number 21, Drew Simi, the right fielder. Batting fifth, Cal Hall in the DH. Alex Reynolds will bat seventh and play first base. That pitch down low. Evan Park will bat eighth and pitch. Mike Messier will bat ninth and catch. Tom Onsey is the odd man out of the batting order. He's the right fielder today. As Luke Gustafson is set to deliver. And that pitch is inside. Let's take a look at the Ashland Diamond. Luke Gustafson on the mound. Miles DeSoni at first base. J.J. Krupe the second baseman. John Van Cleef the shortstop. Mitch Porter at third base. Is that pitch down low? Ronan Bates is the catcher from left to right. Shane Leary, Philip Cooper, and Jake Schelling for the seven and eight Ashland Clockers. As Gustafson has pitched a couple times this season, four and one from the mound is the freshman. As this is hit in the air towards right field and it will be caught. As Schelling gets under it to for the first out, and that will bring up Jack Vaccari. Gustafson, just a freshman, four and one on the mound on the season in six appearances, has pitched 35 innings, and has faced 146 batters, has walked 17, has only given up nine earned runs as that pitch down low. Ashland Clockers led by head coach Matt Messer, Assisted by Steve Manguso. Matt Messer, a former graduate of Milford High School. As there's a strike. And Coach Manguso, a former coach at Milford High School. He's a longtime coach of the basketball team and the Milford High baseball team. As this is hit in the air towards left field, towards the fence. And that really drives into deep left field. That's going to be a base hit, and it is a big field out there. So legging out the triple is Jack Vaccari. And we'll get you the dimensions to the sides of this brand new Ashland field here at the high school. It is 335. The caps are 360. And over to center, it's 350. So it is a lot of field to cover as Matt Decina will step to the plate. And he takes ball one, a one and oh count. So an early triple for Jack Vaccari. Well needed for the Hillers, some good early momentum. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, and this is going to remain in fair territory and drop down. A run will score on the RBI single from Decina. Vakari comes around. It's one to nothing Hillers. That'll bring up Drew Simi, the right fielder. And Decina has got a late start this season, has only played a nine. As that is an overthrow to first base, it gets away off the glove of the first baseman. Decina advances on the wild throw. Wild check-in throw allows Decina to move up a base. So runner once again in scoring position. As Simi awaits the pitch. Simi at a 350 mark on the season has played in 13 games. As this is on the ground, play from short, and they will get the runner heading to third. 
A nice job by Van Cleef to get it over to Porter in time to get the speedy Matt DeSina. So Drew Simi will reach on the fielder's choice, and that'll bring up Drew Donahue. And DeSina, despite playing nine games, has really started to hit the ball. 344 on the season. Has scored seven runs, driven in three. And the man at the plate right now, Drew Donahue, has had a pretty good year as well. Really improved hitting-wise as that pitch is outside. A one to nothing, Hopkinton Hillers lead, one out in the top half of the first. Gustafson set to deliver, check in at first, runner back. And we'll have to watch out once again. We're right here on the first baseline for this one. Brand new facility here at Ashland High School. Beautiful field they have. Very deep field as well as that pitch is inside. And Bates will give the fake throw down to first base, runner back safely. Gustafson awaits the sign. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul territory and out of play. Two and one. Gossifson awaits the sign. Check in at first, runner back. And this is hit in the air towards center field, and that will be caught for the third out of the inning. One run does score for the Hopkinton Hillers. Vicari comes around on an RBI single from Decina, heading to the bottom of the first. one nothing Hopkinton. Just about set to enter the bottom of the first. It's a one nothing lead for Hopkinton. We are at Ashland High School. As the Hillers taking on the Clockers, Hopkinton five and nine on the season. Ashland seven and eight. Both teams looking to get a winning streak going to make a late postseason push. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Diamond. Evan Park is on the mound. Alex Reynolds over at first base. Kyle Halloran at second. Matt Tessina the shortstop. Jack Vicari at third. Tom Onzi in left field. Drew Donahue in center. Drew Simi over in right field. The catcher is Mike Messier. For the Hopkinton Hillers, who last time they took on Ashland, got the victory. Evan Park did pitch in that game. It was a 4-3 walk-off win in their home battle against Ashland. Let's take a look at the Clockers lineup. They are going to lead off with second baseman J.J. Krupe. Mitch Porter will bat second. Philip Cooper, the center fielder, will bat third. Joe Schelling, the right fielder, will be the cleanup man. Luke Gustafson, the pitcher, will bat fifth. Ronan Bates, the catcher, will bat sixth. John Van Cleef, the shortstop, will bat seventh. Shane Leary, the center fielder, will bat eighth. And Miles Dassany, the first baseman, will bat ninth. As Krupe is set to step into the box to face Evan Park, who has had a nice season on the mound for the Hillers. And he is expected to be a crucial part of Ashland Legion baseball, which we also will have for you on HCAM this summer. Park set to deal. And that pitch is up high, a one and oh count. Evan Park on the season, a 337 ERA. Two and two in six appearances, has started five games. Came in in relief in the Thursday game against Westwood, is that pitch a strike? And that was a tough loss for Hopkinton against Westwood last Thursday as they had the lead throughout much of the game and ended up losing that 7-6 in walk-off fashion. That pitch down low. A 2-1 and one count. Park to the set, delivers. There's a strike, 2-2. Two and two. We'll get you the standings in the TVL in just a moment. As Park set to deliver. And there's strike three. Gets Krupe looking. 
That'll bring up Mitch Porter, the third baseman. Mitch Porter, 257 mark at the plate. <clears throat> Excuse me, as Park set to deliver. Lined up and the pitch. Inside, hitter turns away, 1-0. At the top of the TVL in baseball, it's Westwood. They are 15 and 0 overall on the season. Just a tremendous team. As this is hit in the air towards right center and ranging over to make the catch is the right fielder Drew Simi, two away. And when you think about it, Westwood, the best team in the TVL, Hopkinton has given them a run for their money both times they've played them. Makes you think, Hopkinton five and nine, but they do have some talent on this team. They just haven't had the best of luck at all times as that pitch is a strike to Phillip Cooper. Medfield in second, they're 10 and four. They started off a little rough, but they've won a few big games as of recent. That pitch down low. Medway is nine and six in third. Same story with them. It's been kind of an up and down season. And then the state champs, Bellingham at nine and six. Tied with Medway for third. They've had an up and down season as well as that pitch followed away, but they lost a lot of talent off of that state championship team. Norton seven and seven, Ashland seven and eight, floating in the middle of the TVL. And then you have Holliston at five and 10, Hopkinton at five and nine, Dover Sherborne at five and nine. And then Millis at the bottom, two and 13. Is Park set to deliver? And that is down low. Two and two. Park awaits the sign. Cooper having a very nice season at the plate. Has played in all 15 games, a 432 batting average. As there's a pitch down low, that'll fill up the count. Cooper has scored eight runs, driven in nine. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit up the middle. A jumping play over at second base, and a nice play by Halloran. Gets it over to Reynolds for the 4-3 to three ground out to retire Ashland. 1-2-3, it's 1-0 Hopkinton heading to the second inning. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Dentist at Hopkinton, located at 77 Main Street, providing comprehensive dental care for clients of all ages, from childhood through adults, in a comfortable and relaxed setting. Find them online at hopdent.com. Stepping to the plate for Hopkinton is Cal Holland, Alex Reynolds, Evan Park also do up to face Luke Gustafson. A one to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. In the top of the second, there's a swinging strike. Gustafson awaits the sign and deals. That is in there, but low, one and one. Cal Holland having a brilliant season at the plate, a 463 batting average. 16 runs scored, 13 driven in. Also has two home runs this season as there's a strike. One and two. Holland a 522 on base percentage as well. 853 slugging percentage, that pitch down low. It is a gorgeous afternoon. The HCAM thermostat might be broken. It's reading 66, feels a little hotter than that as that pitch is outside. So we'll go on my thermostat. I'll say it's about 76 degrees out here today. As Gustafson set to deliver, feels about 85. And this is a liner in the left field. That'll drop in for a base hit. So runner aboard for the Hillers as Cal Holland starts things off with a single and that'll bring up Alex Reynolds. And the Hillers, they've hit in the last few games.
to the set. Runner back. Line up and the pitch. Runner back safe. Gustafson will check in again, trying to get Holland. Holland is three for three on stolen base attempts. And he's taking off, and the pitch was high. Throw to second, not in time. Stolen base. The Hillers. Going with the camouflage jerseys, typically the jerseys they warm up in, but starting to use them for the games here and there as that pitch up high. Gustafson awaits the sign. Runner leading off of second. That pitch is low, and Holland will go back to second. There is a throw from Ronan Bates. A three and oh count on Reynolds. And what Holland's doing right now is getting inside the head of Gustafson. Keep him looking over at second. And that pitch up high, a four pitch walk to Reynolds. Now Evan Park will come up to the plate. Evan Park, a 286 on the season. Has scored six, driven in two. Has played it, has hit in 12 games. There is a lot of instances where Coach Golden will just have him pitch so he doesn't really have to worry. And now a throw. A look for a throw over at first will draw Holland off the second base bag. He's caught in a pickle. Heading back to third, the throw over to the shortstop, and they get Holland. I don't know why you tried that. A risky play there, one away. And I think, I know Holland has a lot of speed, but in this case, no outs, two men on. You got to try to see if you can get the rally going. Gustafson set to deal. There's a swinging strike. Bob Hamilton on camera. Tom Nappy on the call. It's Hopkinton Hillers baseball on the road. We're here at Ashland High School. A brand new baseball field was put in this year. Gustafson awaits the sign. Delivers just high. Wind up and the pitch up high. Two and one count on the righty. Checking at first, and they almost got him, but back safe. That was very close, and we have a very good angle of that first base bag from here. And this is a liner, and that'll drop in a left field for a base hit. It's always a shame when something like this happens because you think about Cal Holland getting thrown out. You could have the bases loaded right now, but still one away, two on for Mike Messier. Messier, a 297 at the plate has really improved hitting wise as the season has gone on. Gustafson delivers. Down low in the dirt, 1-0. and oh. Now 
Evan Park at first base, Alex Reynolds at second. Wind up and the pitch, a strike, one and one. Gustafson is going to take a look at second, all runners back. To the set. Hit in the air, foul. One and two. Gustafson to the set. Down low. Bates keeps it in front. A little bit wild there. Two and two. Gustafson steps off the mound, looks towards second base. Runners back safe. Leg lift and the pitch, swinging strike, two away. That'll bring up the top of the order, Kyle Halloran do up. Gustafson to the set. Hit in the air, and this is going to be foul. Oh, and one. Brave fan tried to barehand that one. Ended up in the creek behind us. Gustafson. Takes a look at second and deals. On the ground, Gustafson will play it off the mound, throw to first in time for the third out of the inning. So despite the lead man reaching for the Hillers, they go down scoreless in the top of the second, but lead one to nothing as we head to the bottom of the inning. Bottom half of the second inning, the Ashland Clockers coming up, due up the fourth, fifth, and sixth hitters, Joe Schelling, Luke Gustafson, and Ronan Bates. It's Hopkinton Hillers baseball on the road. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. A one to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. As Evan Park set to deliver to the right fielder, Joe Schelling. Park, the leg lift and the pitch, swinging strike. Gets him with the breaking ball. One and oh, oh, and one count, excuse me. Park to the set, delivers. And that is just inside, one and one. To the set. And this is on the ground, first base side, and it's going to get past the reach of Halloran, a single for Joe Schelling. Schelling heading into this game. The sophomore was a 289 on the season. That'll bring up Gustafson, the pitcher. Freshman, 125 at the plate. Park awaits the sign and deals. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Up. 
Park to the set. Runner taking, thought about taking off from first. He'll go back as Messier looks down the line. Park working from the stretch. He deals down low, one and one. Gustafson expected to be a big part of this Ashland team over the next three years. In his freshman year, the really the main pitcher for Ashland. Is that pitch outside, throw down the line, runner back just safe. Nice throw down the line by Messier. Messier has been a solid defensive catcher all season long for the Hillers. Park deals. Nats down low. Messier keeps that in front. Three and one. Park to the set. Swinging strike. And excuse me, that was strike number three, so one away. That'll bring up Bates. Park checking at first. Nice throw to first. Almost got Shelling, but Shelling just slides back safe. Park does have a nice move towards the bag. That pitch just low. One and oh on Ronan Bates, the catcher. Bates a sophomore, 162 so far on the season. And this is hit in the air towards center field and ranging back to make the catch was Drew Donahue, two away. I'll bring up John Van Cleef. Van Cleef, a junior. This is only his second game hitting. Usually the odd man out of the batting order, but getting a chance at the plate. And he takes strike one. He's had one at bat so far this season, and he's 0 for 1. Park awaits the sign and deals, and that is just low, one and one. Nice stop by Messier. The wind up and the pitch in there for a strike, one and two. Runner leading off of first. Park set to deliver. Swinging strike, and it briefly got away from Messier, so he'll tag the hitter, and that'll be the third out of the second inning. Heading to the third, it's 1-0 Hillers. Set for the top of the third inning as the Hopkinton Hillers coming back up with a 1-0 lead. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers. And by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They're a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Hopkinton Drug, located at 52 Main Street. Stepping to the plate is Jack Vacari to face Luke Gustafson. Vacari hit a triple his last time up and scored a run in the first. Takes strike one. Wind up and the pitch, breaking pitch that broke a little too far outside, ball one. A one and one count on Vakari, and he will tip that foul one and two. Vakari at a 365 batting average on the season, has scored nine, driven in nine, has four doubles, a triple and a homer. 
Jack Bakari, just a junior. Very good hitter. And he'll hit this into deep center field. And ranging back to make a nice catch is Philip Cooper. Good job by Cooper, tracking that down, battling the sun, one away, and that'll bring up Matt Decina. Decina had the RBI single in the first inning to score Vicari. And he has hit the ball very nice lately, has that pitch up high. Started off a little bit slow, getting back from an injury, I believe it was uh, some type of back injury he had. This is his 10th game of the season. Missed the first five. Gossifson delivers. That's line down the first baseline and foul. One and one. As the lefty pulling that one down the line. Decina, a member of the Milford Legion baseball team. They made the Regional tournament run, where they were one win away from the World Series. He'll lay down the bunt to up the third baseline. Throw to first is going to be in time. Nice throw across. And that is two away. Now bring up Drew Simi. Ashland showing off some good defense in this game. Simi, a junior, a 350 mark on the season, takes ball one. Simi has scored seven, driven in nine. Gustafson to the set, down low, two and oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's ball three. The leg lift and the pitch. That is going to be strike one. Started walking towards first, but a late strike call. Leg lift and the pitch. There's strike two. That looked a little low from here. A full count now on Simi. And he'll hit this one in the air and out of play. And a great catch, barehanded catch by a fan. And I don't know if I would try to make the barehanded play. It'd probably end in disaster for me. As Gustafson set to deal. And he'll fight that one off. Count remains full. And if you look at the Hillers coming back next year, quite a few good hitters. Jack Vicari, Drew Simi. Kyle Halloran will be back. On the ground, third base side, takes a hop. The throw to first is going to be in time. A great throw across the diamond from Mitch Porter. And they get Drew Simi with the five to three ground out. The Hillers go down one, two, three in the top of the third. We head to the bottom of the third. Hillers up one to nothing. Bottom half of the third inning, a 1-0 Hopkinton lead. Due up for Ashland. It is the 8-9 and 1 hitters. Shane Leary, Miles Dasani, and Joe Krupe to face Evan Park, who so far has pitched two scoreless innings. Wind up and the pitch. That is up high. Shane Leary, a sophomore. At a 182 on the season for Ashland. That's fought off. 
one and one. And keep in mind, Ashland, they're a young team. A lot of sophomores and juniors playing big roles. And they're at a seven and eight mark overall, which is quite impressive under head coach Matt Messer. And Ashland expect to be good for the next couple of seasons as that pitch turns away Larry. One and two. What an up and coming talent in the Ashland program. And it should be a very interesting season for Ashland Legion baseball as well. As that pitch down low in the dirt, you essentially get a lot of players from the Hillers and this Ashland Clockers team combining on the Ashland Legion team. And you also get some of the Bellingham Blackhawks that'll come to the team. As this is hit in the air towards right field, that'll drop in for a hit. Went off of Simeon, got by, but he's able to gather it up to hold Larry at first with the single. And that will bring up the first baseman, Miles Dasoni. Dasoni, another junior. 2-11 on this season. Ashland with only five seniors on the roster. Park set to deliver. And that is down low, 1-0. Wide up and the pitch, down low, two and oh. Park awaits the sign. Checking at first, runner back safe. Good pickoff move from Park. Runner leading once again off the first base bag. Park delivers down low. And talking to Coach Messer of the Ashland Clockers before the game, he said one major flaw of this new field is the mound is relatively flat, which certainly could affect your pitches as that is in there for a strike. And with a flat mound, you are more often going to throw your pitches a little lower than you would prefer. And this is hit on the ground, first base side, and it went through the glove of Reynolds in the right field. It's gathered up by Simi. The runner at second takes off for third, and then an overthrow, and the runner is going to score. It's one to one. So DeSoni hit a single, advances the second on the throw. Larry comes around a score on an error. That was Jack Vacari with the misfire. And it's one to one. Sony over at second and that'll bring up JJ Krupe. No outs in the inning. As the lefty steps in, struck out in the first inning. The leg lift and the pitch, and he is laying bunt, and he bunts it right back to Park. The throw to second is going to pull Halloran off the bag as they try to get to Sony. Sony back safely. That is out number one, and now Mitch Porter will come up to the plate. Nice defensive play by Park. That just shows you how aware he is, knowing where he has to go with the ball. Porter flew out his last time up. And that is ball number one. Park to the set. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is lined into right center. That drops in for a hit. Simi will throw it in. It is cut off. By the first baseman Reynolds, that puts runners at the corners for Ashland. Sony advances to third. Porter aboard with the single. And that'll bring up Philip Cooper. Big opportunity here for the Clockers. Up. 
Park is set to deal. There's strike one. For those of you just joining us, it's Hopkinton Hillers baseball on the road here at the brand new Ashland High School field. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. A one-to-one -one game, but Ashland threatening for more. As there is a strike and a throw to second is going to pull the infielder Kyle Halloran off the bag and the ball went off his glove into center field. DeSoni around to score the second Ashland run. Porter advances the second, a stolen base. DeSoni comes around on the error. Third error of the game for Hopkinton. Actually, second error of the game for Hopkinton, excuse me. Park to the set, and this is hit in the air towards left field, towards the fence, raging back, and he did not get to it. It's off the fence, still in play, rounding second as the ball rattles around in the outfield, and that is going to be a stand-up triple for Philip Cooper. Mitch Porter in the score, it's three to one Ashland. Tom Onzi having trouble with that one out there. It looks like it hit the bottom of the fence, rattled around the corner in left field. And that'll bring up Joe Schelling, the cleanup hitter. As Coach Golden out to the mound with Mike Messier to have a chat with Park. And now the infield is going to come in. A bunt threat here to try to get that fourth run across. Park to the set. That's down low. Infielders playing in on the grass area. Park to the set, delivers, down low, nice job by Messier. Park deals, there's a strike, two and one. Still only one out in the inning for Ashland. Park delivers, there's a swinging strike. And they call it a foul. Two and two count on Schelling. A sophomore, 289 on this season. Park delivers just outside. That'll fill up the count. Park working from the stretch. Runner on third, one out. Already three runs in for Ashland. This is up the first baseline, and that is called foul. Count remains full. Schelling had a single his last time up in the second. Park to the set. Inside and Schelling draws the walk. And you wonder what the leash is with Park. Keep in mind he came in in relief as the game against Westwood last Thursday Went nine innings. Park had a pitch four innings in that game. So he is throwing here really on three days of rest. So you wonder what the leash will be as the pitcher Luke Gustafson comes to the plate. And this is hit foul, 0 and 1.
Clockers hoping for some revenge here. The Hillers walked off in the first game. These two teams met four to three. There's a strike, runner takes off from first. Messier throws the second and the throw was cut off by Decina. A stolen bag for Schelling. Decina transitioned to shortstop this season, has played shortstop in his Milford Legion days, but last year was an outfielder for the Hillers, but moved into the infield. That pitch up high. He's done a great job at the shortstop position. Park from the stretch. Runners on second and third, one out. The leg lift and the pitch. Swinging strike, and it got by Messier. He'll throw to first for the out. So a strikeout for the second out, and that'll bring up Ronan Bates. Ronan Bates flew out to center field his last time up in the second inning. There's a strike. Bates a good catcher for the clockers. Provides some great defense behind the plate. Park is set to deal. On the ground, third base side foul. Oh, and two on the sophomore. Park to the set. Runners both leading. There's a strike. That was a nasty breaking pitch. Second straight strikeout for Park, but three runs cross for the Clockers. It is three to one heading to the fourth. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business providing pest control care. Call them at 508-366-1820 or find them online at WPCPest.com. Don't tolerate, eliminate. As Luke Gustafson set to pitch to Drew Donahue, top of the fourth, a 3-1 to one lead for Ashland. And this is on the ground, up the middle, played at second, throw to first, and they got him. A four to three. One away for Cal Holland. Holland reached on a single the last time up, was caught stealing. In the second, caught stealing from second to third. Wide up and the pitch, and this is lying down the third base side foul. Oh and one. Holland flirting with 500 was a 463 heading into this game. Gustafson to the set, and is just low, one and one. Wind up and the pitch, breaking pitch that wouldn't break, two and one. Calvin Holland leading the TVL in slugging percentage, an 853, fourth in batting average at the 463. Wide up and the pitch. And this is tattooed in the left field. That'll drop in for a base hit as Holland is going around first and he will hold up. Got halfway down the base path, but a nice throw in by Shane Leary, a single for Calvin Holland. And that'll bring up Alex Reynolds. Just upping that batting average is Calvin Holland. Reynolds. 
not doing so bad himself. A 308 on the season. Has played in all 15 games. Checking at first, runner back safe. Reynolds has driven in five, scored four. Gustafson to the set, checking at first, and the runner back just safe. That turns away the hitter, 1-0. Check it at first, and the runner back just safe. You know, in a game like this, runs are hard to come by. And I think the Hillers would be maybe a little bit conservative with sending runners, and this time they almost got him again. They blew a potential opportunity in the second inning where Cal Holland got picked off between second and third. Checking at first, runner back. Gustafson will throw there all day knowing that Cal Holland's a threat to steal. Wind up and the pitch. Turns away the hitter, 2-0. Gossifson awaits the sign. Set to deliver, checking at first. Throw almost got away that time. Nice job by DeSoni gathering that one up. Gossifson looking over at first, delivers up high. Bates threatens to throw down the line. To the set. That is inside, and Reynolds draws the walk. Second walk for Reynolds. If you think about that, Holland reaching both times when Reynolds came up to the plate. And perhaps it's Holland maybe getting in the head of Gustafson a little bit with the steal attempts and leading, forcing the throw over to the bag. And Gustafson will turn and take a look at second. Coach Gold not afraid to send Holland, even in this situation, that pitch up high. Time called as Ronan Bates and Coach Mess are going to come out to talk to Gustafson. Trying to discuss what to do here in this situation. Five straight balls thrown by Gustafson. Park steps back into the box and awaits the pitch. Park a 286 hitter. Falls that one away. One and one. This is 22nd at bat. Has scored six, driven in two, has double. Gustafson to the set. Looking at second, runner leading, he'll step towards second. Line up and the pitch, and that is fought off, one and two. Taking a look at second and delivering. Hit in the air, foul territory, and out of play. And no, it was caught. 
Looked like it was going to go right into the fence. And Sony gets under it. A nice play. So a little pop up for the second out, and that'll bring up Messier. That looked like it was going right for the fence. And the Sony pulls it away. The defense today has been very good for Ashland. And this is a liner down the third base side. Foul. 0 oh and 1. Gustafson to the set, delivers, and this is hit in the air towards left field, foul. 0-2. Oh Both runners leading. Wind up and the pitch upstairs. One and two. To the set. Tipped foul. Count remains one and two. And he was about to throw the pitch, but turns towards second. Holland back to the bag. Two outs, two on for the Hillers. Gossifson delivers on the ground, up the middle, and it is picked up by the shortstop. He'll get the easy out at third, and that will do it for the Hopkinton Hillers. They threat, but no run score. We head to the bottom of the fourth, three to one Ashland. Bottom of the fourth inning, a 3-1 Ashland lead over Hopkinton. Evan Park back out for another inning of work. Due up, John Van Cleef, Shane Larry, and Miles DeSoni for the Ashland Clockers. There's a swinging strike. It's a seven, eight, and nine hitters. Park to the set. There's strike two. A rough inning for the Hillers in the bottom of the third. Park, the leg lift and the pitch. There is strike three, a three pitch strikeout, one away. In the third inning, Shane Leary started off with a single. Miles DeSoni then hit a single. Then a line out, another. RBI single by Porter, Philip Cooper, an RBI triple. Another run scored on an error. There's a pitch down low. One and O oh on Leary. Leary reached on a single and scored a run in the third inning. That's fought off foul. One and one. Park with the leg lift and the pitch. That is low, two and one. Park to the set. Just low. Three and one.
Leg lift and the pitch. There's strike two, full count. Park set to deal. Down low and Leary draws the walk. Miles the Sony coming up to the plate. Single his last time up in the third, scored on the error. A misfire from third base side by Vakari. Down low, nice job by Messier, stopping that one from getting by. One and O. Oh. And you really wonder, is the flatter mound affecting Park a little? It looks like his pitch is a lot of times just low, like that one, two and O. Oh. Perhaps if you had more of an arch in the mound, it would play a bit of a difference. And it's the little things like that that can really affect your delivery. There is warm-up action for the Hillers. This is lined over to second base. And a nice catch by Halloran. He then throws the first for the double play. And that is going to be the second and third outs of the inning. A 4-3 to three double play. We head to the top of the fifth. 3-1 Ashland. Top half of the fifth inning, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Angels Garden Center, located at 65 School Street, growing in Hopkinton since 1957. Bedding, container plants, vegetables, culinary herbs, bark mulch, firewood, and more. Visit them online at angelsgardencenter.com. As the first pitch lined into left field, that'll drop in for a base hit by Kyle Halloran to start things off in the fifth. So a leadoff single, and now Jack Vicari will come to the plate. Vakari one for two, had a triple and scored a run in the first. As the Hillers look to fight back from this three to one deficit. Gustafson has pitched a gem of a game so far. He'll check in at first, Halloran back safely. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers baseball on H cam. This game at Ashland High School. This is on the ground. Up the middle will get by the glove of the diving John Van Cleef, and that is a base hit. Runners on first and second with no outs for the Hillers. And now Matt Decina will come to the plate. And this is a big threat for, <coughs> excuse me, big threat for the Hillers. With Decina and Simi coming up, no outs, two men on, a big opportunity here. Gustafson, the leg lift and the pitch up high. One and oh. Gustafson set to deal. On the ground, up the middle, and it is played by the second baseman. The flip to second for one, throw to first, and they get two outs. A double play. Nice job by Krupe. A 4-6-3. And there's two away. Halloran did advance to third, and that'll bring up Drew Simi with two outs. And another outstanding defensive play by the Clockers. Gustafson deals down low, 1 0. Oh. Leg lift and the pitch. In there for a strike, 1 and 1. Fought off foul, one and two. Simi has reached on a fielder's choice and grounded out so far today. To the set. Leg lift and the pitch. 
breaking pitch just outside, two and two. Set to deal. That's low. Count filled up. Leg lift and the pitch, swinging strike, and there's out number three. As the Hillers go down after four hitters, three to one as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Ready. Bottom half of the fifth inning, top of the order due up for Ashland. J.J. Krupe, Mitch Porter, Philip Cooper to face Evan Park. As Krupe steps in. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a ball, 1-0. Park to the set, outside. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Krupe 0 for 2 on the day. The leg lift and the pitch. Down low. 3 and 1. It's been quite the matchup between these two pitchers. Evan Park and Luke Gustafson is that pitch down low and Krupe draws the walk. And now Coach Golden coming out. And I think this could be it for Park. Keep in mind he came in in relief in the Westwood game. Just four days ago. And for now, it looks like he will stay in there, but I believe the leash is pretty short with him. Coach Golden just checking on him. Porter, one for two on the day, hit a single and scored a run in the third. Park to the set, down low, gets by Messi, a runner from first, will advance to second with no throw. A pass ball there. Krupe over in scoring position. Park set to deal. Leg lift and the pitch, just low. Two and O oh on Porter. Park to the set, that's low. Three and oh. And the Ashland Clockers, they have warm up action as well in their bullpen area. In case Gustafson runs into any trouble. There's a strike. It's Miles DeSoni warming up over there, the first baseman, it looks like. Park is set to deal. That is low, drawing the walk is Mitch Porter. Second walk for Park and this has to be it. Coach Golden is going to make some changes and it looks like we could see someone who's already in the game pitching next. Looks like Drew Simi is going to come in and take over for Evan Park. And we will step aside and give you some more details about the Hillers' changes up next. That's right. 
New pitcher for the Hopkinton Hillers. Drew Donahue moves in from right field to take over on the mound for Evan Park. Park went four plus innings, giving up four hits, three runs, two of them earned, walked four and struck out six. As Philip Cooper at the plate, Simi delivers. This is hit in the air, a high fly ball towards center field and it is caught. Nice job by Donahue getting under it, one away. Taking over in right field is Sam Lehman for the Hillers. Lehman a junior. That'll bring up Joe Schelling, the right fielder. Two men on with one out after the first two hitters walked this inning. Park's still responsible for the two runners on base as that pitch down low. Drew Simi making his third appearance on the mound, a 262 ERA. There's a strike. Has only worked one and two thirds of an inning so far. And that's fouled away. A lot of Hillers getting some pitching experience this season. And it's just been one of those tough transition years for the Hillers. A lot of young players lost a lot of seniors last year after a nice playoff run. And you just haven't had things go your way as that pitch up high and inside, two and two. Simi working from the stretch, set to deal. Leg lift and the pitch, and this is hit foul. Count will remain two and two. The righty to the set. He delivers, that's fought off. Still a two and two count on Schelling who's singled and walked so far today. Also has a stolen base to his credit. Simi to the set. And that is going to be called just inside, three and two. Wide up and the pitch, swinging strike, out number two. Simi showing some pretty good stuff on the mound. I'll bring up Luke Gustafson. Gustafson has struck an out twice today. To the set, up high. Wind up and the pitch, inside. Two and O. Oh. To the set, fought off foul, two and one. That ball long gone. Woods surrounding the field here. Simi to the set. And there's another foul ball behind the backstop, two and two. Ashland Clockers just three wins away from clinching a postseason spot. Hoping to make it two with this game here today. Up three to one in the bottom of the fifth. On the ground, 
foul on the third base side. Simi to the set. That is hit foul. Count remains two and two. Good battle here between Gustafson and Simi, pitcher versus pitcher. Or in the Hiller's sake, relief pitcher. Started the game in right field. Had a couple of good plays as well. Drew Simi, a pretty good athlete. 350 at the plate, a junior. He's one of the guys that'll be back next year for the Hillers. And he deals, that is foul. Little tip from Gustafson. Simi to the set. Down low, three and two. Two outs in the inning, one strike away from getting out of this little jam in the fifth inning. Time called. Gustafson steps out, take a couple practice swings. Simi to the set. Runner takes off from first, fouled away. Both runners will return. Power mains three and two. Both runners take off once again. There's strike three. Two straight strikeouts from Drew Simi. And despite Evan Park walking the first two hitters of the inning, Drew Simi comes in in relief to get out of the inning. Ashland leading Hopkinton, heading to the sixth, three to one. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit them at WebsterFirst.com. Coming up for the Hopkinton Hillers, it's the fifth, sixth, and seventh hitters. Drew Donahue, Cal Holland, Alex Reynolds do up to face Luke Gustafson. And therefore, another inning of work. Hit in the air towards shallow left field, racing in and coming to a dive to make the catch was Shane Leary. A nice job rushing in from left field and making the diving catch for the first out of the sixth inning. And now Cal Holland will come to the plate. And I am very impressed with what Ashland has done defensively. They've made some great plays out there today. And they seem a lot more subtle defensively since the last time we saw them, a lot more in tune as that one's filed away. And when you think about the talent that both these teams has, and that both these teams have, the Ashland Legion team should be pretty good this season. Ashland, they have some solid pitching and the Hillers have some solid hitting. Put them both together, you'll get a pretty good baseball team as there's a strike. And we're certainly looking forward to having Ashland Legion baseball here on HCAM this summer once again for our second year. The leg lift and the pitch up high. And last year was an exciting year for Ashland Legion baseball. They had a playoff run and nearly got to the 
Final four in the state, but a tough loss to Lowell. As that's followed away. And so a walk-off loss, unfortunately, for Ashland, so a heartbreaker. But this year, when you think about what they'll be getting from the surrounding towns, also Holliston, one of the teams that may send a couple players to the Ashland team. Tryouts were just held throughout the last couple of weekends as there's a breaking pitch outside, two and two. And I think it'll be a nice mix on this year's team. I think you're gonna see a couple of these Ashland pitchers and they do have some solid pitching here. As Gustafson delivers, hit in the air, high in the air towards the shortstop and he will make the catch, two away. Nice job by Van Cleef, had a battle of the sun to track that one down. That'll bring up Alex Reynolds. As Gustafson to the set, there's a strike. Oh and one. Line up and the pitch. And this is tattooed into right field and caught by Schelling. And that is going to be the third out. Three straight flyouts for the Hillers. They go down one, two, three. We head to the bottom of the six. Ashland up three to one. Bottom of the sixth inning due up for Ashland is the six, seven, and eight hitters. Ronan Bates, John Van Cleef, Shane Leary to face Drew Simi in his second inning of work. Simi got out of a little jam in the fifth inning as Evan Park walked the first two hitters and a fly out and a pair of strikeouts from Simi. There's a strike, 0-1. A 3-1 lead for Ashland. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers baseball on HCAM. We are at Ashland High School on the road with the Hillers baseball squad as that pitch outside. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. And it's a beautiful afternoon weather-wise, but has not been so beautiful for the Hillers as of right now as that pitch up high. Two and one. Simi to the set, delivers. There's a strike, two and two. Wind up in the pitch, and this is on the ground, up the middle, takes a couple hops, throw to first, is going to be in time. Matt Decina getting the job done. A six to three for Bates, one away. That'll bring up John Van Cleef. That one took a couple hops on the infield grass, a couple awkward hops too. Nice job by Decina tracking it down. Simi delivers, that's down low. Simi's done a nice job on the mound. And when you think about the fact that he's really thrown and he's only thrown an inning and two thirds this season, or excuse me, two innings and two thirds, as this is hit up the middle, played by the second baseman, throw to first, two away. And there's a perfect example of Simi's pitching so far today but he's only thrown two and two thirds of an inning this season in that two and two thirds, gave up five hits and one run, walked three and struck out five. But Simi is a potentially good pitcher you could have in your rotation as that pitch up high. Certainly you gotta see more of him to really track his consistency, but based on what I've seen so far, he certainly has some pretty good stuff on the mound. That's hit foul, one and one. Simi only a junior and could per very well perhaps be a 
starter for the Hillers next season. They could very well be playing some Legion ball as well as that's fouled away. Leary got a piece of himself with that one and that'll fill up the count. Or excuse me, make the count two and two. Simi set to deal. The leg lift and the pitch. Upstairs, full count. Sam Lehman took over in right field when Simi came in to pitch. For the starter, Evan Park. Check swing, I don't think he held, and he didn't. That's strike three. One, two, three, they go down. In the bottom of the sixth, the Hopkinton Hillers coming up down to their final three outs, trailing three to one. The Hopkinton Hillers down to their final three outs, trailing Ashland three to one as we enter the seventh. Stepping to the plate is Sam Lehman. He took over in right field for Drew Simi, who came in to pitch for Evan Park. The wind up and the pitch, and there's a swinging strike. Lehman, a junior, 182 mark on the season, has only had 11 at bats prior to this one. And there's a swinging strike. Luke Gustafson going for the complete game. And so far he's pitched a gem, has not given up a run since the first inning. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air towards left field, and ranging under it to make the catch is Shane Larry, one away. Gustafson up to this point. Went six innings. Gave up seven hits, one run, as he is set to deliver to Mike Messier. That's down low. Gustafson set to deal. And this is hit into left field towards the fence and backtracking to make the catch is Shane Larry. Two away. Hillers down to their final out as Halloran comes to the plate. Only two walks for Gustafson. There's a strike. Also has two strikeouts on the day. Ashland has played superb defense in this game. A lot of great plays. As that breaking pitch is a little bit low. One and one. Halloran one for three on the day. Had a single in the fifth. Leg lift and the pitch. In there for a strike. One and two. One strike away from a victory for the Ashland Clockers. And this is on the ground, up the middle, and the dive by the second baseman throws over to first, and it is not in time. A nice dive by Krupe, and he got it over to first, but just a tad late, and Halloran reaches on the single, and that'll bring up Jack Vacari. So the tying run at the plate for the Hillers. Gustafson from the stretch, down low. Nice job by Bates, keeping it in front. Gustafson from the stretch. Hit in the air, foul, one and one. Runner leading off of first as Gustafson awaits the sign. And this is hit in the air towards left field and into the glove of Shane Larry. 
The three outs were three straight flyouts. Uh, Shane Larry with a single mixed in by Kyle Halloran. But the Ashland Clockers get it done as they take down the Hopkinton Hillers. Three to one. What a start by Luke Gustafson. He lasted the whole game, went all the way. And we'll take a quick break and get you the final stats. It was a beautiful sunny day for Hopkinton Hillers baseball as they took on the Ashland Clockers. Ashland comes out in, on top in this one, a three to one final. The Hillers, they got things started early. They scored one run in the first, but after that, great pitching from Luke Gustafson got the job done for the Ashland Clockers as they improve to eight and seven on this in the TVL. Uh, overall, they are eight and eight. Let's take a look at the game highlights. We'll start off in the first for the Hopkinton Hillers. They would put up the first run of the game. A triple from Jack Vicari came with one out. Matt Decina drove him in with an RBI single, and that would be it for the Hillers. And for the Ashland Clockers, they had a three-run bottom of the third as a lineout started the inning from J.J. Krupe, followed by, uh, excuse me, uh, Shane Leary single started the inning, followed by a Miles DeSoni single. J.J. Krupe lined out for the first out, but the runners pushed up. Mitch Porter had an RBI single. Miles DeSoni then scored on an errant throw from Jack Vicari. Philip Cooper had an RBI triple. Joe Schelling would then walk, but at that point, all three runs scored for the Ashland Clockers, and that would be all the offense that the Ashland Clockers would have. It was quite the pitcher's duel between Evan Park and Lou Gustafson. Evan Park coming off of a short rest as he relieved in Thursday's game, which was just uh, three days ago for the Hillers. Today, he went four plus innings, giving up four hits, three runs, two earned. Four walks, six strikeouts for Park. Drew Simeon relief, pitched two scoreless innings and had three strikeouts. Luke Gossifson, the winning pitcher, seven innings pitched, goes the distance, giving up seven hits, one run, two walks, and two strikeouts. And really your hero for the game for the Ashland Clockers, I guess you could give it to Philip Cooper who had the RBI triple as the Clockers get a big win to stay in the mix of playoff uh, contention in the TVL, their eighth win overall of the season. It's 10 and in, and the Clockers are closing that gap, but still a few tough games left to go. The Hillers, they fall to five and 10 on the season. Once again, the final score, Ashland three, Hopkinton one. That is going to wrap up coverage of Hopkinton Hillers Baseball on HCAM. We thank you for joining us. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for watching HCAM.